I'm going on a date with myself. <laughs> I have moments where I just I need to be with me I also just I have work to do as well but I really want to be outside it's so nice out it's nice to show you a little bit of love you know do that so go on a date by yourself so we're gonna go I got my bag ready of clothes that I actually have to shoot with so it's like half working day half like I just want to spend time outside by myself we're gonna do a little picnic action. I have to go to the grocery store and get some food. I'm gonna make a sandwich for myself. We should normalize this type of self-care. I know self-care, actually yesterday I was watching a video talking about how we romanticize self-care and obviously a lot of it has to do with, you know, your mental state. For myself, personally, everything that I do is self-care. So that means paying my bills, getting out of debt, <laughs> going to therapy, being with my cat, reading, journaling, going outside, going on a walk, talking to my family, all of that stuff. What is that? What was that? Was that bars? It's so it's not just pampering and doing skincare, you know? Oh, hello. Look at this girl. You look so cute on top of my radiator. Like I said, this is also a work day for me so i don't know i wanted to do a little i want to do something a little fun today so outfit of the day um this is a sweatshirt from nasty gal i'm doing like a little collab with them so it says today is going to be a good day and i have my favorite jeans ever from fashion nova and my shoes that are everywhere okay sandwich time okay uh, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm making a sandwich. I have these little dates with myself very often because I like being alone. I don't think that's a shocker to anyone. And I find it so important and empowering to be able to not only have fun by yourself, but to be comfortable being alone. People will ask me like, doesn't it get lonely like living alone? Because I had never lived alone ever, I just was ready to spend time alone. And I think your 20s are just such a grand time to do so. You can take advantage of your 20s. And I don't know, I was in a relationship for a long time. It's nice being in a relationship. I definitely miss it sometimes but nothing really beats time alone. <laughs> hey, you want some ham? <laughs> and with relationships, I think a lot of times you're with your person all the time. And I don't think I was ever able to really spend time by myself. That's obviously nobody's fault, but I also didn't really feel the need to be alone because I was in a relationship, you know? So being single and also being my age, it kind of just forces you to be comfortable being by yourself. And I love that. That's so beautiful to me. Once you feel like so sure of yourself being by yourself, it's really hard to, you know, find or I guess date people because you love being alone so much. And I totally agree because I just don't really see myself dating anybody right now. I didn't really plan ahead. I'm hungry. I kind of have a headache now. So we'll see if these pictures even happen. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I think I think I'm just gonna go to like a parking garage. It's close by. So I'm gonna do that, take my pictures, and then come back here. I have no idea 
I just kind of kept driving. And I found this lonely bit. I guess, I guess. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to take some pictures here. Look how pretty. Very cute. I think I might take a picture there. I must really like yellow. This is a park where I used to like come all the time with my family. Like we grew up here, what is that? I think that's goose doo-doo. I'm reading The Alchemist. I'm only like, what page is this? 48. I know it's a short book, but I've kind of just been enjoying it. And also because I don't really read a lot, I don't have a lot of time for it, so. Sadly, I really have to pee and I don't know where I'm gonna be able to. I'll probably Target. Probably stop at Target. I'm like by myself right now. This feels great. I also have like crossword puzzles that I can play. Wait, did I bring my pen? Yes, I have a pen. Allergy pills, because you never know. Obviously, it's really hard to <laughs> take yourself out on a date with COVID and everything. Usually I'll go to like cafes by myself. Oh, there's a fly on the, hey, <sighs> get away. I definitely have been to restaurants by myself. Maybe not like fancy restaurants, but definitely like places you usually go with people. <clears throat> I hope one day I can make it to the bar by myself. It's a power move, but it makes me uncomfortable to drink around people. So I, I need at least one friend with me at the bar. Also because dudes are creepy. You never fucking know what's gonna happen. Because I realize when I'm like hanging out with friends, I'm focused on hanging out with them, you know, like having fun. But when you're by yourself, it's just you and your thoughts, baby. Just you and your thoughts. That is a little scary. Also, I promise you, no one's fucking looking at you. That was like the very first thing that I was like, oh, I don't know if I can go by myself somewhere and people are staring at you. People are way too into their own world to even care about what's going on in your world. Don't even worry about what people are saying. And this is coming from a person who records themselves in public. I think part of being able to like date yourself comes with I don't know, I feel like you get so much in return because first of all, you're already alone in a good way. <laughs> Not like lonely, but you're by yourself. Therefore, you can call all the shots. Like if I wanted to like do some jumping jacks right now, I could do that. If you're on a date, there's like so much pressure. But when you're by yourself, there's absolutely nothing. Like, like you can do literally whatever you want. I always think about other people's feelings aside from mine. So when I wanted to do things, I always wanted to do them by myself unless a person really, really wanted to do the same thing. It just allows me to be free. I feel like no one's judging me. I feel more confident being by myself. There's a lot of things you learn <laughs> doing things by yourself. And it helps me not ask for help because I already suck at doing that and I do it less. So I literally hate asking for help. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and I hope it inspired you to love on yourself a little bit more and do things that you wanted to do and stop waiting for people to actually do them. If you want to take yourself to the beach, this summer I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to vlog myself going to the beach by myself because I've definitely done it. Right now it's fucking cold so I'm not going to go. But I hope you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next one.
Bye.